the Joe Rogan experience. Vinny, what is like when you've worked with so many different people uh -huh. and there's so many different uh, psychological issues that fighters deal with, what do you think is like one of the primary causes? One of the primary things, the, the psychological missteps that fighters make that you maybe could help them correct? Um, things from the past, I think. I think it's it's down to what goes on in their lives before they may become fighters. Yeah? Yeah. How so? Um, because I, I don't think you can have any relationship with uh, anxiety unless something's triggered it from the past. Mm. So I like to go deeper than just... Um, just the surface i like to go back and talk to them about the childhood and stuff like that it's, mm. it seems to work but it, the thing is with my job joe it's it's so interesting because everyone's different you know these you know one's got the same dna or the same fingerprints and it, everybody's different to to work with so to say one thing would be very difficult um it, it's just about keeping them where they are completely at one with themselves or they understand themselves you know what I mean? And not go down certain avenues of getting carried away. Simple example, Eddie told me that before one of his fights in Mexico City, I think it was, he was like, he just praying or he was that nervous. He was praying that he just, I want to go to sleep because his mind was so fucking overactive. And, um, you know, and it's, it's, it's things like that. I'm that's now working with Cody uh, No Love, Cody Garbrandt. Mm -hmm. And all that are all so different. They're all so talented and, and brilliant at what they do, but it's all so different. It's, it's, that's, to, to nail it down to one thing would be difficult. But many times it's memories of failure? Yeah, or, or, is or just, it is? yeah, reminder, because in the unconscious, this is my belief and people might argue with it, but I, I think that you have to have a, a certain connection with something else in the past to get yourself a reference. It's like I believe that anxiety is something from the past thought about now projected into the future. Mm. You know, so projected I think, into the future is, is your yeah, well, ultimately that, who you are yeah, that defines or, you. Or projected into the future, as in you're going to believe you're going to lose, or yeah. you're going to do this. So what we've done now is just lead it on to what we'd, we've both been doing. Is I've got a new thing called the Shawman Solution, where people can go uh, interactive uh, website where they can go on videos, and there's like quite a lot of videos of different techniques. What's the URL? Uh, the Shawman Solution dot com. com. Yeah, it's not out yet. It's, it'll be out released when, oh, okay. this, when this comes out. Let me know so I can send people there. But yes, please. The idea behind it is you can't just do it in one session, no. right? You need no. a bunch of. It's like mental training. That's what pisses me off about fighters. Yeah, yeah they get contact me two weeks yeah. before. Help me out! I need help. Blah blah blah. blah you know, and it, or, or on the fight day. Um, I worked with Molly McCann, who had two fights recently. She won on, but it was I had to stop Starbucks, throw my kids in the thing, you get FaceTime and say blah blah blah. But I have worked with Molly anyway. But people hire me after they lose. <laughs> hire me before you lose, so you can so you can you know get the best out of your training and stuff. But I think that's the nature of the job. I think it makes you question yourself when you lose. Right. So, uh, but there, that can be great. Yeah, it's great for me. Uh, but but I mean, no, I mean even for them. Yeah, it can be great to lose yeah. because it can give you a wake up yes. call. Yeah, and so many fighters have done their best work after they've lost and made adjustments. Yeah, true. Mighty Mouse is a great example. True. When Mighty Mouse, lo well, he beat Ian McCall, but honestly, that is a real questionable decision. And Ian was beating the fuck out of him. Yeah. Ian had his back and he's pounding him in the head. I mean, it was mm. definitely his worst performance. Or one of his worst performances. Yeah. And then from then on, Mighty Mouse and Matt Hume had a conversation like, yeah. hey, you can't just fucking half ass this anymore. Yeah. You got to be all in. Yeah. And he became all in and then became the best ever. Yeah. <laughs>